Welcome to the Galapagos Islands, where survival is all about what's on the menu. Today, we'll discover how the finches on these islands became experts in survival thanks to their beaks. Meet Professor Beaky. Hi there, future scientists. I'm Professor Beaky, and I'll show you how my family of finches became food specialists. Let's get cracking. Natural selection is nature's way of picking traits that help organisms survive. For finches, it's all about their beaks. That's right. Over time, our beaks adapted to match the food we eat. Let's take a closer look. Imagine living on an island where the only food is either tough seeds, juicy fruits, or tiny insects. Each food requires a different tool, or in this case, a different beak. Let me show you how my cousins and I became pros at using our beaks to survive. On island A, the ground is covered with small, soft seeds. Birds with small, pointy beaks can crack them open easily. My cousin Speedy has a small, sharp beak, perfect for these seeds. She's a seed-cracking superstar. On island B, there are lots of cactus plants. Birds with long, narrow beaks can reach into the cactus flowers to grab nectar or insects. My cousin Nectar loves her long beak. She's like a straw expert, slurping up nectar and grabbing tasty bugs hiding in the cactus. On island C, the ground is full of tough, hard seeds. Only birds with large, strong beaks can crush them. My cousin Crusher has a big, powerful beak. It's like having a built-in nutcracker. He's the only one who can handle those seeds. These differences in beaks helped each type of finch survive and thrive in their environment. Let's recap what we learned. Natural selection helps organisms survive in their environments. Finches with beaks suited to their food sources were more likely to survive and reproduce. Over time, these adaptations became common in their populations. That's how we finches became food experts on the Galapagos Islands. Science is beak-tastic, isn't it? <laughs>